YouTube's new tool for brands means you don't have to see the same ads. Nauseam. Interesting. Although it's up to brands to impose the limits. What is this tool? So so it would it would be some sort of capacity limit for the number of times you would see one yes. single ad. Sometimes it's too obvious when a company is launching a big advertising campaign. If you're a regular viewer, you may end up seeing the same ads over and over. Well, in the advertising world, uh, seeing the same ad over and over tends to be effective. That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mo's nodding over there. <laughs> I, I see, I buy. You show me, I buy. Yeah. But there is a limit to it. Yeah, they found studies it might be a negative impact. At a point, for at sure. A certain point. Yeah, like number three or four, whenever it gets annoying. Mm hmm um Due also to, i guess the frequency. location of the ad yes. Sh shout out tech med uh and i think that's another one that changes with age and exposure mm -hmm. like my kids i feel like i'm like why aren't you logged in to the premium what are you doing mm -hmm. and they can just wait skip wait skip forever yeah and I'm just, i can't exactly the fatigue for you yeah and the same thing goes i think when you have enough um frequency when it's too, the, not not just the amount of total ads but the amount of the same one like it's possible to have a good ad mm -hmm. it's not impossible we talked about it on instagram something yeah. targeted but even the best ad has a certain amount of times you want to see it right the best ad the best video yeah like oh. the super bowl they send like they spend like a billion dollars or you get an ad of something you already bought and they're still trying to sell it to you like, mm -hmm. I don't need to see this ad. Right. You hate I already that. bought it. You hate that. Yeah. When I don't it know comes why. after. Yeah. Yeah, I get that too. I don't like it. Well, I'm almost annoyed of buying the thing. Mm. It's like, you're still trying to get me to buy it? I already bought it. Leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube announced it's expanding the power of tools that let brands control how often they're... And well, see, this is on the brand side. It has to be on the user side. The user should be able to select how many times they're willing to see an ad. I guess you'd have to bury that feature. Otherwise, YouTube would be like, well, who do we show ads to? Everyone selected one time. Yeah. The ad frequency tool named Display in Video 360 was actually launched in February to cover ad campaigns running across different smart TV apps, including YouTube's app and apps from rivals like Hulu. But YouTube has confirmed to The Verge that the program also counts ads shown not only on smart TVs, but across its mobile and desktop platforms. Um, this is going to be smart for advertisers to figure out where that fatigue level is. And to actually do this in a sophisticated way, to annoy people less, mm -hmm. in order to for, for you know if people get if a person gets annoyed with your brand or product, it's not a good look. Of course, not. figure it where that, where that fatigue level is, and then optimize. So it's a good thing. I like it. Shout out, legend. All right. 